Last weekend, I went to a small convention here in Calhoun, Georgia, about an hour away from me, and I talked my buddy Sean into going with me. You guys have seen me show him uh, a couple of times here on the channel where I've purchased some big books from him. He's a good friend of mine. He's never been to a convention before, so I said, you know what? Let's break you into this convention scene, man. Let's go to this short, small con. We're only going to be there about an hour and a half, but it'll give you a good idea of what these things are like and what to expect. So we got there. Sean had had no idea what to expect, but when he walked in the door and he just saw booths set up everywhere with comics, he had no idea what to do, where to start. So we just dove in there. Now, I brought $100 cash with me. That was all I brought because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not spending too much right now and I'm trying to keep my mind and my head focused and not just buy anything I see and make sure every purchase I make is important, that it means something, that it's within reason and for a reason. So carried a hundred bucks and I got some really, really good stuff. You guys might be shocked with what I walked away with for a hundred dollars on the entire day. Now I've got it all in my BCW store folio. BCW is a proud sponsor of Two Brothers Comics and if you are going to conventions this year, you need to invest in one of these, man. I'm telling you, there's nothing better to carry around your raw books with than one of these suckers right here. Friends of ours that we've known for a while, Why So Serious Comics had a booth set up there with one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was almost like a gimmick deal. He had three books sitting on a table and there was like this circle plate in the middle and he had three die, three dice, die? three dice sitting there and each of those books had a number on it and then if you got anything if you rolled anything except those three numbers you just got a blind pull out of the blind pull box three dollars a roll and i was like you know what i'm in i'm in because i want to support uh these guys are friends of ours and i was digging through the boxes i didn't see anything that was really like speaking to me well obviously it wasn't speaking to me they're comic books i mean if they started speaking to me that would be a little weird <laughs> stupid so obviously I wanted to support these guys and I didn't really see anything in their box or on their wall that I really wanted or needed. So I was like, let me do the dice roll. That looks cool. So I bought two rolls. First roll hit a blind pull and I picked up a New Mutants issue 100. It's a really, really nice copy, super clean. So for three bucks, that's not too bad. The next one, I rolled the number for one of the books. And uh, this book right here was definitely worth more than $3 because we got a 9-8 candidate of the first appearance of Domino in new, excuse me, not New Mutants, uh, X-Force issue number 11. Uh, so I ended up, I'm going to use this for a giveaway on my WhatNot channel uh, for my 100 followers giveaway uh, on our WhatNot. So uh, I was like, that's awesome. Three bucks. I was more hyped about just winning the dice roll than anything. So... Uh, that was pretty cool to be able to pick that up. Now Sean comes back over and he's asking what I'm doing and what's going on. And I'm like, yeah, man, you roll the dice, you win a book. And, you know, if you roll these numbers, you pick one of the, you, you know, you win the book here. So uh, I was like, all right, I'm hooked. I got to do it one more time. So I gave him another six bucks. I'm $12 in at this point. And Sean's like, well, what book are you trying? What number are you trying to roll? I said, I'm trying to roll 18 so I can get that book. I rolled an 18, three sixes, baby, immediately. First roll after Sean walked over, rolled all three, got six, 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 Whew. 18 there. And uh, Sean and I and and uh, the guys at Why So Serious, we were all in disbelief, could not believe it. And for rolling an 18, I picked up a super, super clean copy of X-Men Annual 14. Now, I do have a 9-8 copy back here behind me. Uh, so this will be a giveaway for something at some point, I'm sure. But still, for $3, I mean, right now I'm $9 in. And I've already got a uh, X-Men Annual 14 and an X-Force 11. So I think, we're, I think we're doing great here. So I had one more roll. I rolled it again. I already got two of the three books that were up there on the stands. And the last one ended up being a blind pull. So we got Infinity Crusade issue number two. Uh, so, you know, nothing nothing really that uh, gets me super pumped up, but for three bucks, you know, to take the chance, uh, I had already won at that point twice, so I was totally okay with that. Next, I went over and checked out our friends at the Spinner Rack booth. Uh, we 
Love those guys. They set up great booths at every convention they go to. Uh, we know them mainly from being around uh, Nick's area in Huntsville. They set up a great booth at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. And I was really happy to see them here in Calhoun. Had to pick some stuff up from these guys. And this is where I picked up the stuff I was really excited about. And I got a great deal on everything. Great deal on everything. So everything I'm going to show you here I picked up there. Now I did pick up a Donny Cates Venom issue number one. This is also going to be a part of my What Not 100 Followers giveaway. Uh, so I'll be doing that for my uh, 100 Followers giveaway sale on Sunday. Uh, now I'm sure that's going to have already happened by the time that video airs. So this is probably already gone, but really, really nice, crispy, clean copy. And I got a good deal on it. And everybody loves Donny Cates Venom, so I figured that'd be a cool book for a giveaway. I also picked up some Turtles. Not Mirage Run. But Turtles Adventures, because I saw some covers in the box that I'd never seen before, and they were so, so freaking cool, man. The artwork was beautiful. The, the, the books themselves were so freaking clean, man. Not a spine tick, nothing. Perfect condition. So I picked up issue 41. Look at that Leonardo cover. I mean, that is just, that is just beautiful. I absolutely fell in love with this uh, and this is actually a Peter Laird cover so uh, that was just icing on the cake I mean not only is the cover beautiful but the fact that it is a Peter Laird cover I had to pick that one up so I grabbed that one Now this next one issue 49 featuring a beautiful Donatello cover now you don't see a ton of Donatello solo covers but in this series there are a couple of really really good ones I had never seen this before ever 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 and when I got home I did some digging and uh, I found out in high grade this is a pretty pricey book and uh, before I had even gotten home I was like man I might slab this because this looks that good and so did that Donna that uh, Leonardo book but um, I really think both of these are 9-8 contenders. They are that clean. And to find adventures in this good a condition is almost never happens. Because they were just, you know, they're popping around dollar bins and stuff like that. And we know everything Turtles has gotten hot over the last year. So um, that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm just picking up odds and ends for my Turtles stuff. Um, covers that I really, really like. Turtles is probably the only place I'm being a little more lenient with my collection. Uh, and, and just kind of picking up stuff that I just like or oddities, stuff like that. Next up, I got Turtles Adventures issue 24. This is the second appearance of Slash. Uh, now, I did pick up the first appearance earlier this year, but I saw this really, really clean copy. I mean, this thing is a beaut, just a peach of a copy of uh, the second appearance. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm picking up Adventures now. I've got a couple at home already, but... Um, the more I see these in the, you know, high grade, really nice condition, uh, there's some great covers in there. So um, it's not something I'm going to make like a, a big point of picking them up. But if I see them in really, really nice condition, high grade copies, um, and they're really cheap, I'm going to pick them up. Now, these were running probably about 10 to 12 bucks a piece because of the condition. Uh, this one is a key book. The other one's a Peter Laird cover. Uh, the Donatello one is just... It's just kind of an expensive book in high grade, so I wasn't aware of that. Now remember, we are still working on that $100 budget for the day. Next up, I picked up what I consider to be a first appearance. I know everyone else considers issue number one to be the true first appearance, and it is, but Adventures issue number two, new stand. Super clean copy. Uh, this is probably uh, close to being a 9.8 candidate. 9.6 uh, for sure. This is the first time we see Bebop and Rocksteady mutated. Now, they are in Turtles issue number one, Turtles Adventures number one, but they are not mutated. Uh, they're in human form. So, to me, if you're looking for Bebop and Rocksteady key, this right here is a, is a must-have. This one, to me, uh, just based on Bebop and Rocksteady alone, if you're just looking at those two characters, this book is better than Adventures number one. Uh, just for those two characters. I'm not saying in general or overall, but for Bebop and Rocksteady, this is the one I think you should want because we don't know them as Bebop and Rocksteady in human form. We know them as the, the Warthog and the Rhino, and that's in this book right here. So I was super pumped to pick that up. Now, what could be better than that? What can be better than that? And, and working on that $100 budget, it would be impossible to pick this up, right? I mean, how awesome is that? 
I have not ever purchased this book. I, I passed up on it for years because I was like, well, it's like 20 to $30 no matter what grade you get it in. So I want to just wait and find a super high grade copy. Uh, and that way I'm getting the best bang for my buck. And then it went through the roof and absolutely nuclear last year. And I just said, you know what? Fine, whatever. I just won't have that book in my collection because uh, for me, I just I just didn't want to spend 150 to 200 bucks for a copy of this. And at one point, that's what it was going for. Um, I don't know what it settled down to now, but uh, I did pick up this copy here with all those others. Um, and, and I stayed under my $100 cash budget. I walked home with no money in my pocket, but I, I did grab a Turtles number one, uh, Adventures number one. The first time we see all four Turtles wearing their different color bandanas. Uh, and this is also the first appearance of Krang and the human form, Bebop and Rocksteady. But I'm super excited to have this in the collection. Finally, it's my first copy, and it is a, again, just like the others, it is a peach, man. It is a beautiful, beautiful copy. So, Big shout out, big thank you to the Spinner Rack. We love you guys so much. Uh, you guys support us. We love to support you. Thanks so much to Why So Serious Comics. And uh, thanks so much for, to Dustin and Shane over at Rough Edges Collectibles for putting on that show out in Calhoun. Sean, thanks for ha taking me with you, man. Uh, we carpooled together. He paid my way into, this, into the con, so that was very sweet of him as well. Had a great time hanging out with him. What do you guys think? For 100 bucks. For a hundred bucks, how do you think we did here, huh? Did I? I think I did pretty good uh, for only taking a hundred dollars cash with me. Now I know I only spent three dollars on a gamble and got this, but if I just held all these books up and said I got all this for a hundred bucks, would you believe me? Would you believe me? Could you believe me? I'm really excited about these. Uh, I got some great stuff to do giveaways with. And I added some awesome stuff to my Turtles PC. So I walked away from the con extremely happy. And uh, I can't wait to go to another one. So I'm looking forward to it. Drop me a comment, guys. Let me know what was your favorite thing you saw that I picked up in the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Doesn't matter either way. Make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy our content, guys. And remember, as always, collect your way.